Uh, Mark Barney, thanks very much. Thank you. Now, let's get more on those protests going on in Brazil. The government says it will deploy a national security force to five major cities after almost a quarter of a million people turned out to protest and demand better public services. Well, let's get more on this. Let's talk to Bruno Garcés, who's from the BBC's Brazil service. And, Bruno, these protests are mushrooming, aren't they? Yes, they are. And I think, I believe that the reasons now are much more diffuse and have got, uh, grown in scope compared to what they were in the very beginning. Uh, last week, it was all about the increase in the fares of public transport. Now it has mushroomed, as you mentioned, into a much wider topic and with a wide range of a myriad of, of subjects which, now. Which is similar to what we saw happen in Turkey as well. Take us through all the different things then that seem to be going into this melting pot then. Well, we had last week people taken to the streets protesting against the increase uh, in, in the fares of public transport. These protests were repressed in a very brutal way by the police in Sao Paulo. And at first, I think the, the media in Brazil and many were against the protesters, claiming that they were actually vandals that they were damaging public property, which did happen to a very limited extent, but uh, the, 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 the repression was brutal to such an extent that that turned the tide completely. I think the more conservative media, which is the majority in Brazil, uh, switched sides, so to speak, and so did the public opinion. And have the tactics changed because of that? Take us through what, say, some of the things the president has been saying. Well, yes, the president, who was very cautious, President Dilma Rousseff, was very, had a nearly muted reaction to the protest at the very beginning because naturally she feared being engulfed by it. And next year is we have re-election, and now she has embraced the movement as well, saying that the fact that these youngsters are out on the streets is a proof of the strength of the Brazilian democracy. And they do appear, in part, to be working because there have been changes in at least four cities about some of those hikes in prices that people so angered about. But as well as those issues in Brazil, of course, the eyes of the world watching what is happening. You've got the World Cup, you've got the Olympics coming. Yes, there's that. And uh, the reaction we at BBC Brazil have picked up in social media and social media outlets is that many people actually want to see Brazil's image somewhat tarnished and uh, given the attraction, given that the spotlight is on Brazil right now and given the fact that Brazil has so many int intricate problems, uh, it hasn't solved out so many social issues in spite of the fact that in the last decade or so over 40 million p families have been lifted out of extreme poverty. But now people are expecting more and more. Is it briefly, is it possible to say where this ends? That's the $1 million question. Nobody knows for sure where it's heading and what are the next steps because it's a horizontal movement that doesn't have a clear leadership even. Okay, Bruno Garcés, thanks very much for coming in to talk to us. Thank you. 13 minutes to four. These are our headlines on BBC News. The Health Secretary apologises to the families of babies who died at a Cumbria hospital as the regulator is accused of a possible cover-up. The Supreme Court says families of three soldiers killed on the battlefield in Iraq can sue the MOD over the right to life. The Conservative MP Nigel Evans again protests his innocence after being arrested on suspicion of further indecent assaults. Quick look at the markets boards, both in Europe and America. Well, opposite to what was going on yesterday with uh, all red heading downwards uh, on the European markets. Just started trading over there in New York. And coming up after four o'clock, an update on the Duchess of Cambridge and the plans for the birth of the royal baby. Yes, more about that.